Hey everyone, I've just installed macOS 26 Tahoe Beta 6, build 25A5338B, released on August 11th, 2025. There's actually some genuinely fresh stuff in here. Today, I'll walk you through only the truly new things, visual upgrades, bug fixes, and battery performance, without rehashing old features. Let's get started. And yes, it's clear that some of these tweaks are aimed squarely at the September release, so you can really feel the final polish coming together. By the way, alongside macOS, Apple also dropped iOS 26 Beta 6, iPadOS 26 Beta 6, and even VisionOS 26 Beta 6 on the very same day, all part of the unified version 26 lineup. I updated mine through system settings, software update, and the whole process took about 20 minutes, with a cup of tea, as usual. Now we've got one version number across all platforms, a neat way to cut down on confusion. It really feels like Apple is syncing these updates so we can test the entire ecosystem in one go. When the system finished booting, I was greeted by a gorgeous intro video, almost like a movie trailer, except this one was called Liquid Glass in Action. It showcased the new design, phone, and journal. It was unexpectedly pleasant and pretty cinematic. It felt like Apple was saying, look at this shine, and they pulled it off beautifully. If every update welcomed us like this, even the most boring patch would feel like a celebration. This liquid glass used to be so transparent, it felt like I was just staring at the wall. Now it's slightly tinted, the panels are still glassy, but they don't blind you anymore. The transparency in Control Center, Menus, and HUD feels a bit thicker, and those small tweaks really make a difference. It's also noticeable that across different apps, the effect now feels more consistent, without those sudden, jarring transitions. Now, Mission Control renders almost without any freeze, and opening a Safari window feels like you're winking at it. The whole system has become more responsive, and interacting with apps is genuinely pleasant. Battery life isn't all sunshine here. For the first couple of days after updating, my Mac was draining power like it wasn't a Mac at all, more like a hungry cat. Some users reported drops of up to 20% faster than usual. Maybe Spotlight was still building indexes, and maybe this new liquid glass really does put a little extra strain on the GPU. But after a couple of days, the drain slowed down. Not quite Sequoia level efficiency, but close. So stock up on chargers or patience. From the release notes, I see they fixed an issue with the refresh rate of asset packs in test flight apps. Seriously, if you've been testing a game and the cover art wouldn't update, it's all good now. And Safari stopped acting weird on Facebook, though that's more of a running joke. But hey, it works. Small details, sure, but still nice to have. Beta updates usually drop about once a week. This is the ninth week since WWDC. If everything stays on track, the release candidate should land by the end of August, and the final version will most likely arrive in September alongside the new iPhones. So the finish line is near, and everything's about to get polished. So Beta 6 feels like a nice little refinement. An intro video, a less blinding interface, smoother stability, improved battery, and a couple of small fixes. If you're testing, go ahead and update, but make sure you have a backup. For everyone else, you can safely wait for the release. And tell me in the comments, what's the first thing you noticed? Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, I'm off to install iOS 26 Beta 6 on my iPhone. Gotta see if it feels just as polished over there.